right, Modern Ninja here, and today I'm going to tell you a story. People always say, why you practice martial arts? They don't necessarily say it to me, but I keep hearing the question pop up. So I'm going to tell you why I pursue martial arts. When I was a kid, I was beat up a lot. I was fat. I wasn't liked by many kids. I mean, if anybody didn't like me, I'd fight them. And I was in lots of fights, but you see, being a fat, big kid, someone is going to want to fight you, and they're going to beat you. And pretty much, I was a troublemaker at school, but people would still beat on me as well. I was constantly in trouble. And you see, I didn't know how to fight, and one day, I was on the bus, and this Hispanic kid, he beat me up badly. I came home, I had a couple of bruises, and I, was, I wasn't I was really sad about it. But being a kid, you can't really be sad about something for too long, but my parents noticed. And at this time, my relationship with my father, it was really well, but you know, like all things, it can go downhill. So my dad, he was a... Um, Golden Glove boxer. His record was very, very outstanding. 39 and 0. He, but um, he uh, stopped boxing when I was conceived. So it sort of halted all of that. And he, he basically taught me how to box. I was age five. He um taught me how to box. It was he he was very tough on me, but it was all. It was all for good in the end. He, he just wanted me to protect myself. And you see, as that, as that bond between us grew and I started to get better at boxing, it just came naturally. I was an ace at it. I was terrific, but I had to train for that. I had to train for the speed, tra train for the strength, train for the stamina. I had to train for all of that good stuff. And you see, at that time, I was boxing to protect myself. But you see, I, I didn't ask to do the boxing. My dad sort of made me do it. But I actually, I liked it. I liked the idea of working with, with my father at, at the time. Then as things grew, my focus on boxing was my main thing. But then I started focusing on karate. I started going to karate classes and started learning that. But you see, my focus was on boxing because boxing, I started liking that because I associated that with quality time with my father. So as I was learning karate, I was learning boxing as well. And at this time, I believe I was around eight years old, three years boxing. Went to a couple of amateur boxing matches and I won some. I, I had a pretty clean record. I, I believe I won all of them. I don't think I, I lost until I hit middle school. When I hit middle school, that's where a lot of things and my life started to spiral out of control because by that time, my brother had been born and my relationship with my father was starting to crumble. He, um, is, he, he was a very abusive man verbally and physically on me, mainly. Um, he, I, I, I don't know why all of the animosity was my way all of a sudden, but it was just mainly at me when it came to boxing training. He would just degrade me so much and he'd hit me on purpose. He'll put on the gloves and a grown man hitting on a child who's like 12 or 13, full force hits can be traumatizing at times. Even without the gloves, he would hit me sometimes. And you know, it really took a toll on me and Slowly, as my focus on all of the martial arts I learned halted, I, in, like in my life, I started following the path that my cousins took. My cousins, they were all older than me. I was the youngest until my little brother was born, and I would follow them wherever they went. They were really gang-affiliated, and um, I joined a gang, to be honest. Um, we got into fights, illegal activities were done, I, I, I wasn't involved in it, but you know, I witnessed it and I saw it. 
and it was just new experiences, you know. And um, um, there was a moment where I got seriously injured because of the gang, because I just I wanted to get away from all of that. I wanted to get away from all that because I saw my ceiling. I'm not saying my ceiling was higher than theirs, but I didn't want to get in any unnecessary trouble because I saw a better future in my life than being in prison or dead. So I left. They didn't take that too well. And um, one day they called me alone and they tried to jump me. I was pretty badly hurt. There was eight dudes there. Somehow, some way, I, I beat them all. Because they were all around my age, just a little bit. They, they were like a couple years older than me. I tried running, couldn't do that, so I had to stay in a fight. Everything was good with a couple of few punches. I was knocking them out just with, with one hit. Then before long, you know, my luck got cut short. I got kicked in the face. I was kicked down. They stomped me out. And, you know, at that time, my dad was verbally abusing me and physically abusing me a lot, and it took a toll on my mind. And, you know, every time... Cause, you know, at that time, I didn't know why he was doing it, so I just wanted to please him so much. So every time he would call me a name or something, I'd push myself even harder. Even if it meant I'd pass out or I'd throw up, I'd still push through it. I wanted to please him because he's my father, you know, I love him. So at that time, when they stopped me out and I was on the ground hurt, I um, got back up. And I just heard in, in my head he was calling me weak and pathetic and all these other things. So I got up and I fought to my heart's content and I took each and every one of them out. Eight dudes by myself. I was very inj I was very hurt. I didn't go throughout the whole thing unscathed and I passed out. Woke up in the hospital and you know, I'm, I'm just glad to be here. From that point forward, I started focusing back on boxing and karate, and my focus was both very strong on both of them. So, you know, at this point, I'm starting to take martial arts more seriously, and it wasn't just bec to protect myself anymore. I took up martial arts to learn, to mature myself and gain knowledge, because I, I thirst for knowledge, and the culture of Japan hit me from you know I started looking things up about boxing and about boxers and skilled black belts in karate you know it's you know all this information was hit hitting me and I was I was wanting more of it but at the same time my dad saw me drifting away from boxing like in the middle between karate and boxing and he didn't like that at all, and that angered him even more. And that sort of took a toll on me again, because he was angry at me and he'd abused me some more. Then before long, a couple more years passed, and I got to the age where the abuse was getting to the point where I just couldn't take any more. I'm not going to be afraid. I was actually to the point of breaking down in tears in my room sometimes because it's just too much. I mean, you're in high school and all of this stuff is going on. You're like a freshman or a sophomore. And that's where it was just enough because it was just taking a toll on the mind. And I'll tell you right, right now, I don't think that that left me in the right state of mind. It's traumatizing, to be honest. And then my martial arts went from protecting me to protecting my family. Because I learned that when I was on the bus to go to school that he hit my mother. And that can really, again, it takes a toll on you. And something inside of me snapped, and I was like, this is it. I was angry. And all that fear of him left. I didn't want to please him anymore. I wasn't afraid of him anymore. I just wanted it over. So I stood up to him and me and him fought.
I'm not saying I won. I'm not saying I lost. In my in my mind, I won because I finally stood up to him. In reality, I believe it was a well-needed retreat when I could. Because, you know, it's not a fair fight and it could have went anywhere if I would have stayed. I had to get out of the house. So, now my martial arts has three purposes. Protect myself. Learn knowledge and culture. And protect my family. Those are the three reasons why I practice martial arts. And they're not too bad if you ask me. I'm not doing it for commercial reasons. I'm not doing it because of the sport. I mean, I guess the fourth re reason would be because I love it. Martial arts is now a part of my everyday life, so I love it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the story of why I practice my martial arts day and night. So yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe if you like or want.